you get offered a spin-off from arguably the greatest show, you know, on cable television in a long time on, on HGTV, you know, Fixer Upper. Yeah, I'm not turning that down. <laughs> I can tell you when I quit my job in Houston to pursue this dream of building furniture and starting a company with my wife Kelly, the last thing we were thinking was we were going to have a television show one day. <laughs> um, we kind of thought we would just be covered in sawdust in our shop and hopefully selling a few tables here and there. Well, when we had first moved to Waco, uh, we had gone to some uh, friend's house for dinner. And the husband was talking to me and saying, what are you going to do eventually you know, here in Waco? And I said, well, I want to build furniture. And, and you know, that's kind of what I'm here to do. Kelly's getting her master's. And eventually, hopefully, our business will take off and we can both work at that and do, do our thing. Well, he said, well, when you're ready to get a shop, you should call this guy Chip Gaines. And I was like, OK, sure, whatever. You know, I'll call anybody. I think connections are great. So he gives me the guy's number. I call this guy Chip, leave him a message. Well, Chip never calls me back, OK? So fast forward back to this moment four months later when the bottom has fallen out. We drove over to this gas station. We're sitting there and waiting for the tank to fill up. And a black truck pulls in front of me as I'm waiting. And it says Magnolia on the side. And I got out. And I said, hey, my name's Clint. I was calling you guys a while back. I was looking for some guy named Chip. And uh, I don't know if he works for y'all anymore or if he, I, I, I don't know. I'm like total rookie. I have no idea what I'm saying. Little do I know this chip guy is Magnolia. You know, like he and his wife, that is their company. About eight or nine months after meeting him at that gas station is when we were all filming the pilot for Fixer Upper. So that's how it happened. The story goes, according to my mom, that the first time I ever like worked with anything was my stepdad. He took my sister and I into his little workshop in the basement and we made like Valentine's hearts for my mom out of like, you know, I don't know, one by four or something. We cut them out with a jigsaw or something. By the time I got to be 30, 31, 32, 33 years old, you kind of get locked into this way that, that you think things are supposed to happen. So if you're going to become this carpenter who you know, every day wakes up and gets to build stuff and has a company with his wife and all this different stuff you have to have a bunch of money to start that. You have to have uh, a trust fund or some family with like all this backing, you know, so that you can afford to do that. And it was just finally one day Kelly and I deciding, you know what, we're not gonna believe that anymore. Like, maybe you don't have to have all that. You know, the, the sitcom version would be like her rolling her eyes and walking away or going, hey honey, I'll make your lunch in the morning and you get back to work. You know, like that would be, I think that's the version that we probably all think would, would happen in our head. I happen to be married to the most supportive and amazing woman that I could ever ask for. What it came down to was that she wanted to know that I was all in. And if I was all in, she was gonna be all in. And she'd go with me wherever it took. And ultimately, if she knew that we were equal parts in this, um, then it didn't matter that we, could, that we could do it. But the reality is, is that it's me and my wife. She's 50% of that company. That thing looks the way it does today because of her. Our logo on our t-shirt was designed by her. You know, everybody wears our t-shirt. You see people tell me, I was in Disney World wearing your shirt and so many people stopped me and it's amazing. That logo was made by my wife. What I hope people see from our show and, and from the book uh, that I wrote that's coming out in September is that, um, that it is possible, that you can be somebody that didn't have all the things that you thought it took to become something, to make something of your life, and you can still do it. Hello today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.